Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, August 9th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Woodworker's file. That's called a rasp. Yeah, that's a big file. Clinton's first appointee to the Supreme Court informally. I think this has to be Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Partner of Ooze. That's Ooze and Oz. Place for a key card. I guess that would be a slit. Passover in Hebrew. Oh, what would that be? Hmm. Let's get some crossing help here. Barn bundle. That'll be a bale of hay. Outlander network. Hmm. I think it has to be stars. I can't think of anything else that would fit here. Oh man, um, is it Pesach? Is that right? I feel like I've seen that before. Boardroom VIPs. Yeah, that's gotta be CEOs. Option on Halloween. Hmm, is this a costume option? Or is it just trick or treat? I guess it has to be treat, right? Hmm. This is starting to look a little weird. I wonder if this is a slot instead of a slit. What's found under Casper's Christmas tree? Okay, so this is gonna involve some kind of wordplay. I think it does have to be a ghost because it's Casper the friendly ghost. What would be under Casper's Christmas tree? Is it gonna be ghost of Christmas future or something like that? Hmm. Pizzeria offerings served with marinara for dipping. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Landlocked African country. Uh, I think Molly is landlocked. Yeah. Watch it, man. An equivalent phrase. Hmm. What would be a good equivalent here? It's not just hey, is it? I wonder if this could be Chad instead of Molly. Yeah, and then this can be Hey. Dada artist Jean. That's Jean Arp. Classic show tune with the lyric, when you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. Show tune. Hmm. Is this from The Sound of Music? Is it Do Re Mi? I think it might be. Lofty beginning, and this is wordplay, so it's not about starting out with lofty language. I wonder if it's some kind of thing that's actually up in the air. Yeah, you know what this could be? It could be arrow. That's a prefix that means something's flying, right? Nice, okay. So I wonder if this is going to be calzones. Yeah, there we go. All right, so it's starting to look like this might be ghostly presence. So it's presence instead of presence, right? Which would be the normal phrase. Okay, so we've got kind of homophones for everyday phrases, and then they're punnily clued. All right. Evil woman rock group for short. I think that's ELO, isn't it? Let's see. Distinctive flair. Yeah, that could be Elan. Alternative to a glossy finish. You could have a matte finish on a photograph. Okay. Landlocked African country again. Um, I didn't know this, but it looks like it has to be Lesotho. I believe that's how you spell it. Let's see divulged. Maybe that's a let on. Yeah, you're letting something slip. Eco-friendly party announcement. Eco-friendly? I wonder if it's an evite. You're not actually using paper. June 18th vis-a-vis -vis Juneteenth. Yeah, that would be the eve of Juneteenth because Juneteenth is on the 19th. Okay. Part of La La Land. La La Land is Los Angeles. I wonder if they're talking about Hollywood here. 
This could be Tinseltown. That's a really fun entry. It's also interesting that Tinsel is crossing presents. That's another kind of Christmassy thing. I wonder if that's just an accident or if it's on purpose. NBA forward blank Porter Jr. I mean, I've never heard of this person, but it seems like it has to be Otto. Brillo competitor. Yeah, they make cleaning pads, so this could be SOS. And this is Ness? Largest Scottish lock by volume. Yeah, I guess that's a Loch Ness. I guess that's why the Loch Ness monster lives there. Okay. Bit of fantasy sports fodder. I suppose that's a stat, right? Let's see if this is another punny phrase here. Rule that forbids singing hymns to the devil. A rule. Hmm. It seems like it might end in hell. Something in hell? Hmm. Nursing sight. I guess that would be a tease. 29 down output. Activity for Bill Watterson or Bill Keen. Okay, well, those are both comic strip artists. So I wonder if this is cartooning. That would fit. And this would be a strip. Okay, so what could this be? Is it no chance in hell? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Presence, chance. Hmm. These are both kind of playing off the NCE sound in presence and chance. That's interesting. I wonder if that's going to stay true for our next two theme answers. Catches some Z's. That's going to be naps. Famed backboard breaking dunker of the 1990s. Uh, I think this has to be Shaquille O'Neal, right? Let's see. Filmmaker Anna Lily Amarpour. Ooh. I don't think I've ever heard of this filmmaker before. Interesting. I mean, it seems plausible enough. Access to the company jet, for example. That would be an example of quite a nice perk, right? Wedding dress fabric. Is it satin? That sounds pretty good. Bit of conical shaped candy. Hmm. Would that be a Hershey's kiss? It's going to take a lot more than that to fool me. Nice try. <laughs> Okay, let's see what our next theme answer is. Doctor's concern when a rival clinic opens up next door. Okay, I have a feeling I know what this is going to be. I think it's going to be losing patients. That is really funny. Okay, and it is using that same NCE sound from the first two theme answers. Hmm, I wonder if we're going to get a revealer or if it's just going to be another example of the same phenomenon. Hmm. Feature of a satchel. A satchel would have a strap on it. Indeed, another equivalent phrase. Is it just, it is? Let's see if that's right. Slightly. Yeah, that should be a tad. Crunchy baked snack. Hmm. Is it a pita chip? That fits pretty nicely. High point of exodus. And this is wordplay, so it's not talking about a really exciting verse in the book of Exodus. I think this must literally be talking about a high mountain. Yeah, that could be Mount Sinai, right? Let's see if that's right. Oh, fudge. Another equivalent phrase. Dang. Billiards ricochet. That could be a carom. That's another word for a ricochet. Word with paper or insurance. Term paper, term insurance. Yeah, that's right. Baseball's big poppy. I know this is Ortiz. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I'm spelling this right. One per customer, e.g. Yeah, that would be an example of a limit. Sudden turns. That's got to be either zigs or zags. NYC cultural institution that opened nine days after the 1929 stock market crash. I had no idea it was this old. 
I guess that's the Museum of Modern Art. So that means this has to be Zags, right? Costume department staple. Yeah, that would be a wig, right? The O in EGOT. That's Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. Okay. Pester's no end. It looks like that's Nags. A modern wedding might have two of them. That could be grooms, right? Okay, so this is ego. Teamwork inhibitor. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Did a 5k or a 10k? That's got to be ran. Turntable speeds for short. I guess we're talking about a platter again. That's got to be RPMs. Peace for one voice. That could be an aria, right? Yeah. Caving to gravity. I guess that's saggy. Of little consequence. That would be a minor issue. Quaff for a caroler, maybe. Yeah, that could be nog. We're talking about Christmas time again, aren't we? Okay, so let's see what our last theme answer is here. Evidence at the robbery crime scene. Okay, we've got our homophone at the beginning here. I think this has got to be Prince instead of Prince. Um, what kind of Prince would it be? Prince of what? Maybe it's Prince of Thieves. Oh my God, that's so funny. Okay, island near the big island. That's got to be Maui, right? What gras means in Mardi Gras? I think Mardi Gras is Fat Tuesday, right? So this is fat. What Marty means in Mardi Gras abbreviated. <laughs> okay, well that knowledge came in handy. That is Tuesday abbreviated. And this is step. Dance dance revolution move. Yeah, it's all about dancing. Large white waders. Those will be egrets, that's birds. Roller rink shape, that's an oval. Internet meme. Work with thread, that's gotta be so. So this is tame, domesticated. And this should be slew, did in as a dragon. Nice, yeah. All right, let's throw this W in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Wednesday puzzle in 16 minutes. So we had a homophone theme today. Yeah, each one of our theme answers is a homophone of a common everyday phrase. And in each one, the NCE sound has been swapped for a NTS sound. So it's presence instead of presence in ghostly presence. We also got no chance in hell, losing patience, and Prince of Thieves. Yeah, these were all really funny, wacky phrases. We also had some really nice fill on the downs. I loved seeing cartooning in there. Bill Watterson is by far my favorite comic strip artist. Also, Tinseltown is very nice. Calzones and pita chips are making me hungry. And this is a pretty fun equivalent phrase. Nice try. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that Wednesday puzzle with me. There's no chance in hell I'm going to miss the marquee-themed puzzle of the week, so I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Thursday solve. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.